working with T.I., I met T.I. on a couple of different occasions in Atlanta. Um, let me first say this. Shout out to my um, my boy, Clay Evans, R.I.P., rest in peace, rest in paradise. Uh, so I, I met Clay. Clay was T.I.'s right-hand man, you know, when it came to shows, when it came to the label, when it came to um, promotions. Clay I met when I was working with Bobby Brown. Clay was, was a rapper back in the day and a crazy rapper. Like he was spitting and he was, you know, battle rapping. Um, he could freestyle right off the top of his head, just crazy bars. But uh, R.I.P. Forever Missed, um, left a legacy. Um, shout out to my guy, Clay Evans. But nonetheless, I met T.I. kind of the same way uh, I met Luda. And T.I., he was coming off from Ghetto Vision with K.P., and, and Arista Records, like they, they separated at that time and T.I. was looking for another label. And obviously Dallas Austin had Free World Entertainment, which was going through Capitol. And so T.I. asked me to set up a meeting. I met him at BP on the corner of 14th and um, 14th Street and uh, I forgot the, that cross street. But nonetheless, after we talked at BP, he came to the studio and Dallas wasn't available at the time. So for whatever reason, that didn't transpire either. So there was a couple missed opportunities. You know, T.I., Sierra, Ludacris, Beyonce was another one when she was in Destiny's Shout. But again, that was earlier on in her careers. And that's, that's part of the business. You know, you miss some, you know, and you win some. But so T.I. was one of those missed opportunities with um, Free World and... Nonetheless, when he had started his own record label and production company, Grand Hustle, um, there was a couple artists uh, that I worked on, and, and through Clay, he, he hooked it up. Uh, I think there was an R&B artist named Governor that I worked on, and I did some mixing and, and some recording on various other artists. But nonetheless, I didn't get a chance to work with T.I. because he was, he was locked in with uh, Toon at that time, so I didn't get a chance to work with him, but I do look forward to working with him and getting some production on him in the future.